Coach Prime Colorado Buffaloes had their game on yesterday. We are currently number two right now in the Big 12 and have an opportunity to control our own destiny if we win out and we can have an opportunity to compete for the Big 12 Conference Championship. I will be right to the on-field game. Shout out to Well Off Media. Every other city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a hip oh I know. My people know it's mad dog, TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a hip oh I know. Six-yard line, flag on the play. Hey, let go, So right now off the bat you see a lot of communication going on on the sideline i absolutely love everything everybody's paying attention focused locked in ready to go you also saw coach Mathis screaming and yelling at shallow sanders saying you cannot do this whatever it was on the computer that he was saying you can't do he really meant everything he said in regards to that you also saw Coach Prime and Shiloh Santa speaking on the sideline as well. So whatever it was, must wasn't good. Now, Shiloh Santa's played pretty good in this football game. Now, I did see a few times where he was throwing his shoulders and not wrapping up. Other than that, he played fairly well. Third and three, third and three. Let's go. Brings up four down. Can I say great defense right there by Texas Tech? Although I wanted to see us stretch the ball downfield for my viewers that learn that we as we go. Mainly, what I'm saying is I just wanted us to throw a lot of go balls, post routes, everything downfield to test the speed of Texas Tech defense in regards to secondary because we have a lot of speed on offense, and I just no way can believe that they can keep up with what we have on offense. Set 
Another sack. Great pitch and catch right there between Shadour Sanders and LeJounte Wester. It's just simple. Just give him the ball and he can do the rest. LeJounte Wester is what we call an all-around wide receiver, which means he can do it all. He can run every route on the route tree. Just give him the ball and he can do this consistently with what you guys just saw. Play strong up front. Our offense gonna get going. And then we're better get loose. But get tighter in the fucking fives. In the, the tighten it down, especially when the back is to you. You know they coming back to the open side. They closing it over there and they coming back open. So tighten the shit down and be ready to go stuff the shit by the guard ball. Alright? We're doing a good job. Sell down and play ball. You got a lightning call, communicate it down the line. Exactly. You ain't gotta say lightning. Just say you, 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 you. Just communicate something when we got it. Or it's on, it's on, it's on. Y'all got me? So now we can fucking move. Get this ball and we gonna go down and score. We gotta be physical. We gotta be physical. We gotta be straight out physical. All right? No mistakes. No mistakes. No mistakes. We're gonna be dominant this half. We played one of our worst half. And we still right there. Let's go show them who we are this half. Yes, sir. Physical, dominant. Let's communicate. Let's talk to each other. Let's have fun. Hell yeah. You know how it is when we start having fun. Hell yeah. Let's not miss opportunities. All y'all have had opportunities to make a play. Make it. Especially on special teams. Special teams, we got to be special. We've got to be special. Offensive line, you know your assignments. We're going to call some of the same stuff we've been calling. It's up to you to go out there and dominate. We got that? Great halftime speech by the coaches. I agree with everything the coaches said in regards to when we want to have fun, can't nobody stop us. Let's just keep it a buck. At this moment right now, the score was 13 to 10. We was down 13 to 0 all game pretty much man our offense started out slow but our defense kept us in the game so this second half things got very interesting so anyway let's continue the video let's go What can I say? Travis being Travis. That is what we call interesting right there. We know Travis Hunter is the best in the country. Go ahead and give him the Heisman. This kid performs every single game. Doesn't get off the football field any bit. He has the best energy amongst any player in the country. Give him the Heisman. Great interception right there by Hill Green. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't know who to give the game ball to in regards to the defense. Everybody played great as a unit. The front four played their lights out. Speaks volumes to what these coaches are doing for the defense. Pass intercepted by Hill Green. First and ten to Yo, 
defense by the DB. It just was a hell of a catch by Texas Tech wide receiver right there, man. He just basically just went up and got the ball. Very hell of a good play right there by him, man. I'm going to tell you guys right now. DB was in great position. Wide receiver just came down with it. Great touchdown right there by Shiloh Sanders. It looks simple, but it's very important because Shiloh Sanders paid attention. It's the small things that matter. He stayed aware of what was going on on the football field, didn't let up, saw the ball on the ground, picked it up, and did his dance. And he had did his dance as far as Coach Primetime, Deion Sanders. He did it very good, in my personal opinion. First and foremost, I'm proud. You know I am. I don't like the way we, I don't like the way we let up at the end, though. We kind of let up at the end. We took the foot off the gas, but we still got it done. So I'm truly proud of y'all. But we can be better, can we not? Yes, sir. We can't do we we can't do better, can we not? Yes, sir. So we just got to give a little bit more. A man of God, uh, my dear friend, is my brother. I just wanted him to dress y'all. And you know, to whatever God played on, put on his heart before we get on this plane to get back. Because what we're doing right now, man, y'all don't understand. It's spiritual, as well as physical. Because you're gonna get a lot of haters, even family members, even friends, even loved ones, folks gonna come out the woodworks because you're doing something that hadn't been done, and you're doing something special. You got a tremendous gift inside of you. I don't want you to abort it for none foolish. Yes, Lord. Stand up real fast. Yes, sir. Take it easy. What's going on, fellas? Hey, listen, three things, man. Number one, buffaloes travel in herds. Y'all did it together. That was amazing. Number two, they said y'all can't win on the road. 
You did that. Number three, which is most important, today is over. Tomorrow is the only thing that matters. So enjoy the day. Do whatever you got to do today. But you all are taking the nation on a journey. On my way here today, man see me in this. He said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the football game. He said, who's playing? I said, Texas Tech and Colorado. He said, ah, man, you're on the bandwagon. Ain't no such thing as a, Col a Colorado fan. I said, you must don't know. They popping up all over the nation. And let me tell you, y'all got the nation paying attention. Don't take your foot off the gas. Your, off the gas. Don't, don't let the nation take their eyes off of you. Because he who has began the good work in you is going to establish it until the end. I want you to keep fighting. I want you to keep pushing. If you didn't get in the game, you matter. If you got in the game, you matter. And guess what? You got to stay ready because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I want you to stay together and I want you to pray for this coach because he's like a Moses leading people into the promised land. I want you to thank God for him because it ain't easy being on top. It ain't easy. And last year, y'all started out of the breaks. Everybody had you ranked. This year, you have to earn it. Yeah. You have to earn it. So stay strong. Stay fortified. Don't let nothing come between you. I pray that every injury that happened today will go away, that you'll all wake up healthy and happy. And guess what? We got a big 12 championship to go get, fellas. So let's keep going. All right? Appreciate it. I thought it was a very good video. I absolutely loved everything that I saw within this video as well as watching this football game on yesterday. These guys played their lights out. I agree with Coach Prime. We did let up a little bit at the end. We want to fix that, especially when we start playing very good football teams like BYU, Utah as well. Utah hung with BYU last night. They could have won the game. They was one possession away from actually beating BYU. And BYU is a top 10 football team. So we have to make sure we correct the small mental errors in regards to that. But we won. That's what matters the most. Shout out to Well Off Media. Have a lot more in this video for you guys to check out. I will have a link to this video and his channel in the description. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this football game. What are your takeaways? And if you guys like the video, definitely like, subscribe to the channel. Peace.